Hi and welcome back to another video of CAIE Backpack. Before we begin this video, make sure you subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get further notified. So today's video is going to be very exciting because we are going to tell you 12 tricks which will help you to prepare for your upcoming CIE exams in October-November. So before wasting any time, let's begin the video. The first and the foremost thing is to plan yourself. Don't leave it until the last minute. While some students do seem to thrive on the last minute, it's widely accepted for most of us that it is not the best way to approach for an exam. To help you sort out with your time management, set up a timetable for yourself. Write down how many exams you have and the days you have to set them. Then organize your studies accordingly. You may want to give some exams more study time than others, so find a balance that you are most comfortable with. The second tip is to organize your study table. Make sure you have enough space to spread your textbooks and notes out. Have you got enough lights? Is your chair comfortable? Are your computer games out of your sight? Try and get rid of all the distraction and make sure you feel as comfortable and able to focus as possible. For some people, this might also mean complete silence. But for others, a little background music also helps. The third and the scientific tip for you guys is to put a little bit of perfume, cologne, essential oil, body spray, body mist or scented lotion on you while you are studying. And then put the same scent on you while you are going to take your exam or quiz. The scent will trigger the memory you stored in your brain when you were studying. Try a scent that you don't have a lot of occasions with already. Calming scents like lavender may help you relax as well as recall the information immediately. Moving on to fourth tip. Practice an old exam which means practicing past paper. One of the most effective ways to prepare for an exam is to practice taking past versions. This helps you to get used to of the formats of the question and if you time yourself, you can also be good for practicing and making sure that you spend right amount of time on each section. The fifth tip is to explain your answer to others. Trust me, many of you will think it is a waste of time, but the parents and little brothers and sisters don't have to be annoying around exam time. Use them to your advantage. Explain an answer to a question to them. This will help you to get it clear in your head and also to highlight the areas where you need more work. Number six technique is to study when sleepy. Bedtime stories are for kids. Instead of reading Berenstain Bears, try reading few minutes before hitting the hay. During sleep, your brain strengthens new memories and put them into long-term storage. So there is a good chance you will remember whatever you revived just before dozing off. Just try not to bring work into your actual bed, since the distraction can make it harder to get a good night's sleep. Number 7. Space it out or take regular breaks. A new learning technique called spaced repetition involves breaking up the information into small chunks and reviving them consistently over a long period of time. In simple words, it also means to take breaks. While you may think it's best to study as for long hours as possible, this can actually be counterproductive. If you were training for a marathon, you wouldn't try to run 24 hours a day. Likewise, studies have shown that for long-term retention of knowledge, taking regular breaks really helps. Moving on to number 8. Shout it out. The dual action of seeing and hearing the information at the same time helps seal it in your memory. So shout those notes out loud. We just can't guarantee you that you won't be thrown out of the library. The ninth tip is to walk backward. It might sound strange, but a backward walk is hitting your brain's rewind button. In one study, people who walked backward were able to remember a video they had watched than those who walked forward or stood still. This theory is called the mnemonic time travel effect. Another most important trick is to learn what works. Some people are early birds. Some are nighty owls. Some prefer to study with pal. Others need complete and total silence. Experiment to find out which method is most effective to you and then stick with it. The second last tip for you is to make studying fun. If you need a little motivation to read book or lengthy passages, try a candy trial effect. Place a bite-sized piece of a candy such as M&M's, Kittles, Junior Mints, Gummy Bears beside every paragraph on the page. Once you finish reading each paragraph, reward yourself by eating that piece of a candy. Last but not the least, practice. 
It's actually a surprising fact that taking a test can actually be more beneficial to learning than spending the same amount of time studying. We just don't need to learn a task in order to perform it well. We need to overlearn it. Thank you for watching our video. If you find it helpful, press the like button, subscribe to our channel and comment on the next video you want to see.